today we're just gonna make a really fun charcuterie board. Um, Spell it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but this is really, really fun to do. You know, if you've got friends over for appetizers, we're gonna have it as our fun Saturday afternoon snack um, and just be cheese heads. I don't know. So, here we go. Go to cheese it up. This is our Merlot Bellavitano. See, I don't like cheeses because it's got weird colors on it. That's the Merlot. It's, it smells so good. It smells like grapes. Go figure. <laughs> so we're using a cheese board from Dark Stallion Woodworks. It's really, really pretty. Perfect for a charcuterie board or any... Oh, you broke the cheese. I told you. Oh. We were in the, dang. It's okay. Is it though? Yeah. We were in the car and there was a squeaky noise. So instead of figuring out what the squeaky noise was or giving his wife plenty of time to figure, mo remove the squeaky noise, Hunter just slammed the wheel and the broke noise went away. our beautiful cheese. Is it good? Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, totally forgot. Kind of wine. Oh, uh, this is Ravenswood Merlot. So we have a Merlot Bella Vietano cheese. So I thought, what better to go with it than a Merlot itself? Um, this guy is out of California, right? Yeah, California Merlot. <laughs> Ravenswood's great because it's super affordable. I think this was like $9.99. So it's not like you're overspending, but you still get a really great quality wine. All right, so our next cheese is Gouda. It's good because it's smoked Gouda. Um, very, very, very typical cheese that you could find on a charcuterie board. And perfect for someone who's maybe kind of intimidated by colored, what did you call it? Like colored cheese that's growing stuff. It's colorful cheese. Um, but yeah, so smoked gouda is really good to to use for that kind of stuff. So you're not in super intimidating or anything like that. This is very soft. So this guy is Cotswold. Um, really excited for this one because it's got a bunch of herbs in it. So it's like minced onions, chives, all that kind of yumminess, but this cheese is super soft, so I'm trying to be careful not to break it. Is that the one from Wisconsin? Yes. Or are all of these, because they're all cheese heads? Um, I don't know. I know that's specifically Wisconsin, so. And we're just gonna smear it. We're gonna smear it on the board. So, and I'm gonna put because this has such a intense flavor, I'm gonna put it next to the smoked gouda since the smoked gouda doesn't have as crazy of a flavor. My friend Candace taught me this. After watching her charcuterie board, I'm just gonna kind of put a good and try not to get it all over the counter. So you're gonna put a blob like that, and then you're just gonna take your knife and go. Okay, so now I kind of these are my absolute favorite. They're rosemary almonds. Okay. If you've never tried these, you absolutely need to. Your mom. Product of Spain. What do you think that'll do? Isn't that supposed to loosen the lid up? Don't think so. Can you?
kind of different. <laughs> Maybe Very it's different. Awful. I thought it would come with a little like stabber. These are cornichons. Baby sour gherkins. I've never heard of this before. They looked good. So Hunter doesn't like olives, so you can put olives or pickles on a charcuterie board. So we're putting these little cute baby pickles that taste kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, make sure you go buy them. Here's the label. <laughs> make sure you buy those. They're pretty good. They taste real funny. No, they're good. They're just different. They're very, very, very different. <laughs> Grissini on that show what's the oh the Great British Baking Show <laughs> that uh they make Grissini and it is so cool all of the different flavors and everything And that is a charcuterie, charcuterie, char, whatever you want to call it, a cheese tray that you can enjoy as an appetizer or just a meal. This one's going to be a meal because there's only two of us. So cheers, have a great weekend, and we'll check back in.